Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, we are doing a hands-on review on the Lenovo X1 Yoga. I think uh, a week ago I did an unboxing, and it's time to do the review on this guy. So let's actually get to it. The Lenovo X1 Yoga is powered by a 2.60 gigahertz Intel 6th generation i7 V Pro processor. It's equipped with a TPM microprocessor to secure your hardware. It goes up to 16 gigs LP WDR3 memory. Storage capacity only goes up to 512 gigs of SSD SATA 3. It's also equipped with an Intel HD 512 1 gig graphic processor with a stunning 2K 14 inch IPS with anti-glare display. The display is classified as a quad HD with resolutions of 2560 by 1440. Its primary operating system is Windows 10 Home 64 bit. It is equipped with a webcam with a high resolution of 720p. It has the latest Bluetooth technology of 4.1 and it also has an awesome dockable status pen that recharges and lasts about 100 minutes. Now one of the cool things about the X1 Yoga is it comes with an LTE Advanced port for a SIM card insertion but it's Optional when you're purchasing one. The X1 Yoga weighs about 2.8 pounds and the retail starting price is about $1,400. So taking a closer look of all the ports within our X1 Yoga. So if you have the laptop facing you to the point that you're able to open it up, let's take a look at the right side. Okay, so on the right side we have an HDMI port. We have two uh, 3.0 USB ports. We have a hybrid port which allows us to hook up our headset uh, with a mic or headphone. Uh, we have our volume control, we have our power button, and this little guy right here is our status pen, which is awesome. And it's rechargeable as well. So on the other side, we have our power port. This is where you insert your power adapter. We have our OneLink Plus uh, port from Lenovo. We have our mini display port, and this one right here is actually an OTG 3.0 USB port. All right, so in the back side, we have a nice little ventilation to keep it nice and cool. This is where the heat is going to be uh, pushing out. And right next to her, we have our micro SD port, as well as our LTE advanced port, which allows you to insert a SIM card. So the layout of the keyboard and the trackpad are amazing. Uh, the only thing that I have that I could kind of say that it's bad is the mouse pad. The mouse pad is not as responsive the way that I want it. I found myself plugging in a, a USB mouse to use that rather than the trackpad. Uh, and the reason why is because when I was moving certain things, it wasn't uh, moving it the way I wanted to move. It was just going kind of crazy. I do like the fact that Lenovo inserted the nub, which is a standard with their ThinkPad laptops. Uh, it's between the G and the H. It's basically the pointing stick, which acts like a, a mouse, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the way that the keys feel when you're typing feels amazing. I have enough vertical space between the keys as well as the mouse, so it's real easy to just use my thumb to move everything around and as well as type. So it's not one of those things that I gotta lift my hand and use the mouse. I could use the trackpad by using my thumb without even lifting my fingers on the primary keys on the keyboard. Now one of the cool things that I like about the Lenovo X1 Yoga is that the keyboard actually syncs in when you're converting it into a tablet. So right now all the keys are raised up. So when I'm converting the laptop into a, you know, a tablet, the keys, all the keys basically like sync in. That's awesome. And if you pay close attention, you also have like a nice little razor that keeps the laptop a little raised up so you can actually use it as a tablet without the keys hitting the surface. Also, the keyboard is actually backlit. Uh, it has about four options. You have auto, uh, you have low setting, high setting, and then you could turn it off. And the way that you could basically do that, you could just hold the function key and the space bar and then it will allow you to uh, turn it off. And this one right here is auto. And this right here is the first setting. And then the next setting is the highest one for the, the backlit or within the keyboard. The X1 Yoga from Lenovo has a beautiful, beautiful quad HD display. One of the things I like about it, it's 14 inches, which is a nice size for doing photography and Photoshop editing and a little bit of video rendering and editing as well. The resolution itself is about 2560 by 1440, which is great. You could size it down to 1980 by 1280, 
but you're going to see everything kind of distorted so the best resolution is to keep it as 2560 by 1440 but i haven't had any issues so far with the display also the display is touch screen but again i don't find myself using the touch screen as much uh, the only time that I use the touch screen is when I'm using the status pen when I need to do some editing with photos within Photoshop. Uh, I do notice that the screen gets dirty extremely fast. That means you guys have to have a nice little cloth around to keep it nice and clean. If not, it's just going to get really dirty real fast. Okay, so let's take a look at the status pen that comes with the X1 Yoga. Now, this little guy is uh, dockable within the laptop on the right hand side and it lasts about 100 minutes. It has a quick recharge of 15 seconds, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's really accurate. You got your, you have your primary keys right here, which is your left and right. You can actually configure it within the operating system to do whatever you need to do. But I, I kind of find myself using this guy is when you have Photoshop and you need to do those quick edits. It's great to have that. So right now I have the brush and I'm brushing away. I'm not a professional. But if you get really into it or you switch the laptop into maybe a tablet mode, you, you could probably get a lot of details with this guy. The status pen is really accurate from my understanding. I haven't had any issues like when you're pointing uh, in one area, it jumps to the other one. But overall, it's great. Uh, pressure, if I want to change the, the pressure of the paint, it changes it right away. Just got to just put that extra pressure to it which is awesome. If you want to do light, you could just do light. Right? That's pretty cool. All right, so let's look at the sound. How's the sound with the X1 Yoga from Lenovo? So I have uh, a digital sound level uh, meter. And uh, right now I have iTunes up and running. I have a bunch of MP3 files from the YouTube library, so I won't get copyrighted. And right now, by default, uh, the iTunes is set all the way up to the volume. And but the volume within the laptop is actually set up to 23. So I'm going to start this drop it. And we're going to start this guy up. And we're going to do the max. And right now it is reading 74.6. And because I'm talking is raising up. And the speakers are actually at the bottom of the laptop. So we're going to raise it up a little bit. All right, guys. So it was around 87.6 to 87.4 decimals. That was the highest that it could go to. And it was full blast to 100%. Um, that's pretty good. But by default, 87.6 to 87.4 is pretty great to listen to music in the house. So how about the temperature? How hot does this laptop get? So I have myself an infrared thermometer right here. Uh, this part right here, which is normally where the battery is at and the motherboard was getting really warm. So we're going to actually see how it is because I, I had this laptop up and running since the beginning of this review with you guys. So right now it is 89.9 uh, degrees. So that's pretty warm. I think the highest that I got was between 94 to 95. And the only way that you could get that is if you're rendering video or you're playing high intense gaming such as Overwatch because that uses 30 frames per second and a little higher. This little area right here is definitely going to get up to the 90s. All right, guys, so my overall impressions of the Lenovo X1 Yoga. So the size, the size is beautiful. I love the size. Uh, the display itself, Quad HD, you can't go wrong. 14 inches is not that bad. I think the height of self uh, is about 0 0.66 inches, which is really thin. The weight of it is about 2.8, but when I weighed it, it was about three pounds, but it doesn't really feel like three pounds at all. The build itself, I believe it's made out of polycarbonated plastic. Uh, you can actually drop it a couple of times and it will survive. It was just continuously survive. It's, it's, it's made to survive. So I, I, it's one of the things I like about it a lot. So the Lenovo X1 Yoga has four modes, which is extremely useful. Uh, one mode is basically the work mode, which is, this is the mode that a lot of us is going to be using all the time. Uh, we have our present mode, which is this mode right here. 
Uh, this allows us to present PowerPoint presentations. Again, this laptop is great for the enterprise business world. We also have the Curvativity mode, which is the tablet mode, which allows you to uh, use the pen, the status pen, and edit some photos and, or take notes and do all that good stuff. And the last one is the Connect. If you're a person that likes to do a lot of uh, video conferencing, this is the version that you would do, which is basically like the tent mode. Now the battery life. Now the battery life on this guy, Lenovo does advertise that it's going to be 11 hours and they did use Mobile Mark, which is a very uh, known application that tests that stuff out. I do have Mobile Mark. Uh, I'm going to be testing it again because my results gave me between 3.5 to 4.5 hours of battery use, which is really low. That's a big difference with what Lenovo is advertising for us, 11 hours. Uh, so I most likely I will be testing it again using mobile mark to see if it does last 11 hours But for my testing I used uh, PC mark. All right guys So that's my hands-on review on Lenovo's X1 yoga uh, It's great. It's a great ultra book, but it's not a great ultra book for home users $1,400 is a lot of money, especially if it's not a laptop that's capable of playing high intense games. Uh, again, this laptop is great for individuals that are always on the run, working from home or working remotely from other places to VPN or uh, do Excel, do some Photoshop editing, couple of rendering with uh, Premiere. Uh, this is the laptop for you. Um, the only thing that I could talk about bad about this laptop is the trackpad. The trackpad for me wasn't really responsive and most of the time I didn't use it. I just plugged in a USB mouse and I used it that way. Uh, the status pen is a plus, which is awesome. Uh, the only time that I actually used the status pen is when I was doing some Photoshop editing. Uh, other than that, I didn't use it as much. I did notice when you're powering down the laptop, it takes a while to completely turn off. The way that I noticed is that on the side, on the power button, it kept on blinking green. You gotta wait until the green stops to actually close the lid because if not, uh, I think the laptop's gonna be placed in hibernate mode. Uh, overall guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this hands-on review. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.